Today, Precarious plays Stardew Valley! Alright, so the last episode, you had some ideas about how you would you would hope that multiplayer would work in Stardew Valley, right? Mm-hmm. So there are a few problems. Yeah. One, I'm pretty sure that having having the ability to just go to somebody's farm, like that wouldn't work out very well. Mm -hmm. Because, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it for more than a, a couple of seconds, it, it wouldn't work at all. Because how would time work? How would how would the days advance? You'd probably be pretty pretty pissed <laughs> if, if somebody you... went to bed while I was still working. <laughs> well, I know. I just mean like, okay, so let's say you stop playing and you're in the middle of summer, and then I. I'm like, oh, well, I'll help out on Odette's farm. And then I do an entire in-game season's worth of work. Uh, and then you just come back and suddenly you're in the middle of fall. Yeah. Um, that would that would, be, that would be pretty annoying. But maybe there would be, like, some sort of... I don't know. I just, like... I think that it would work out best if everybody was more or less neighbors. How exactly is a little bit... So neighbors, everybody yeah. should have like their own farm yeah, everybody, space? Yeah, everybody should have their own farm because I think that this, I, this is a relaxing game and I don't feel like it should be polluted by this whole like having to raid idea. You know what I mean? Like everybody <laughs> has to get together so we can all harvest the corn. You know, I it's, think... It's funny that you say that because I was actually about to say... I don't agree with that even a little bit. Mm hmm Because what you were describing, everybody having like their own like little farm and just being neighbors. Yeah. That doesn't sound like it would be con it would, I don't think it would actually encourage cooperative play. I think it would encourage adjacent individual play. Yeah. You would well, just be playing the same game next to someone. We can already do what you're, you've you're, described. Yeah. By just Playing next to one another on adjacent computers. Yeah, I guess. And you know, you're right, but I don't know. I guess I don't. Maybe I don't want multiplayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just want to be alone on my damn farm. How about that? Okay, so let me <laughs> let me uh, hit you up with an with an idea blast, okay. and then and then you tell me one of your other ones. Um, because what's what's happening? The reason why I brought it up is because concerned ape wants to maintain creative control of the game, which is awesome and super cool. Yeah. Um, but whenever he said that he was willing to work with the publisher, Chucklefish, who also do Star Starbound. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not worried about like the um, the the quality or anything. Yeah. Um He's willing to he, he worked out a, a plan with them so they can do the technical stuff mm -hmm. to implement multiplayer for this game. Right. And what that says to me is that means that the experience must be so... It must borrow so much from the core single-player game mm -hmm. that there aren't really any creative decisions to be made. And that actually really made me pretty sad. Mm. Because I was, I was like, I was cautiously optimistic about about Stardew Valley multiplayer. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, well, I mean, it could be cool, you know, if there are reasons to actually play together. Mm-hmm. But, so let me, I, I want to give you what I think may be like the worst case scenario, which I'm, I'm afraid might actually be what's gonna happen. Yeah. I think that Probably the most boring way to handle the multiplayer for a game like this, outside of what, like, Story of Seasons and some of the Harvest Moon games did whenever they tried harv uh, tried multiplayer, which was like, you can hang out in a field with one person's animals and you can all pet the animals. Aw, petting zoo! Yeah, it was, it was basically, their multiplayer was a, was a petting zoo. It's the, it's which cute, sounds though. cute, but it's boring. Well, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was awfully boring. So, up to, uh, let's say, two. 
Mm -hmm. Up to two players can go visit a host farm. Yeah. So Julian the Great and I would be able to come over to your farm. Yeah. And then we are ranch hands. Uh huh. Uh, to facilitate yes. the gameplay of it, it would require building a special, like, like, like a uh, guest cabin mm -hmm. on your farm somewhere. Mm -hmm. Linus, buddy, can I just give him these? Yeah. I love Linus. He's my favorite. Is, was there somebody? Wasn't there somebody that was asking for them specifically? Yeah, it was Linus. I I don't think it was. You should check the exclamation point. No, you need to find oh, his basket. Oh, okay. I know where his basket is. Okay, where's his basket? Spoiler factory. <laughs> That's my favorite game for the Nintendo DS. <laughs> <laughs> All the characters are so cute, and I like farming a lot. <laughs> um, it's near the the bus tunnel. And that's the only hint you get. If okay. you've forgotten where the bus tunnel is, fuck you. I know where the <laughs> fucking bus tunnel is. So you build a special guest cabin on your grounds to facilitate the multiplayer, and whenever you go to sleep there, uh, it gives like a countdown warning of some sort that's like, ah, the host went to sleep. Everybody else has an uh, an in-game hour to get the fucking bed, right? Mm -hmm. And then they go to their guest cabin, and then everybody goes to sleep, and then advances to the next day. Yeah. Um, so it has to be very host-centric, right? Right. And they'd probably just whatever items are lying around, people can just take them, you know? Yeah. Because I think implementing a whole bunch of, like, this chest is locked, or this chest is unavailable to guests would be sort of difficult, and mm -hmm. um, Yay. it would completely kill the ability to like compensate your your helpers, right? Right. So basically, I think that there would, out of necessity, to have like multiplayer using this what we're looking at right now yeah as a as a base as a template mm -hmm. you'd have to just have one person who it's their world and other people go and visit it because mm -hmm. let's say you and i both married um god mm -hmm. i can't remember any of their names uh, abigail yeah what how, how does that work is it like a joke does, do they have like? Do oh, they your name's the... Abigail. <laughs> My name's Abigail. Isn't that funny? All right. Well, it's like your your wife is Abigail. Ha! Huh? My name. My wife is named Abigail. Or do they like include like a line of joke dialogue where your the person that is your wife in your world is is jokes and it's like ah, oh, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> that would certainly but, be funny. But it, it applies to all of the townspeople. Do they just? Do, I mean, I think it would be cool if they maintained their relationships and their growth from the from the uh, the guest mm -hmm. file. Mm -hmm. It'd be really cool to go to somebody else's town. Are you for serious right now? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? All right. It'd be really cool to go to somebody else's town and be recognized by the same people because th that's the problem. They're the same people. You know, it's this, it's this, it's Abigail and it's Penny and it's Lewis and all of your favorite people. Okay, time to fight. Okay, there's a dog explosion. I feel like it's been happening often enough recently that maybe I. I I'll I'll make a graphic for it. A dog explosion? Bail, put up the new dog explosion graphic. <laughs> Good. Looks great. It's my best work. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just... It, so, we live in a very rural, rural area, so occasionally people will be hunting or 
practicing shooting or for whatever reason people will occasionally fire off a, a firearm of, of some sort and they'll be like pow and then they're just setting off fireworks because it's a day that ends in y yeah and holo <laughs> hates it so it's a dog explosion i mean yeah. that's what happens when you marry the two shoots dog gun explosion. dog reacts dog explosion yeah yeah dog Yeah, so I I don't know how a multiplayer is going to function for this game because I think that the way they're probably going to do it, like the, the, the easiest way I could see to do it, I think it's following like the template that Minecraft has set and even Star Starbound, you know? <laughs> the way Starbound works is you have a host and their, their universe and then people visit it. But mm -hmm. the difference I think is that well, first off, the world seeds mean that you can go to, like, a universe's copy of a world. Even if you go back to your your own universe later, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think that the other problem is that those games are about exploration of the environment. This isn't. Mm -hmm. This is a very. This is a. This is about building something. Yeah, this isn't a dynamic environment. This is a, well, no, because I mean those games are often about changing the environment and building in them. It's just this is a a static town with static residents. Mm -hmm. It's filled with knowns, like very well defined, often intimate relationships. You know. Yeah. Turn around. Oh, gosh. Oh, look. Inside. Inside the tent. Good girl. Here we go. Jeez. She's trying to knock the house down. Well, it's just... She oh. she wanted me to pet her butt. Yeah. <laughs> so she, she halfway left the tent, so that way her butt was near my hand. Mm-hmm. But then her whole upper body was, yeah, was folding <laughs> the tent all funny. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to to add about multiplayer for right now? No, not really. It's not really, honestly, it's not something that interests me for this game very much. Well, looks <laughs> like uh, I have some new Saturdays that are free that I thought I had plans for, but I guess not. I, oh. Uh. <laughs> Next time. Next time, Precarious plays with more ideas for multiplayer. Heck yeah.